Kia ora, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Hayes in Kansas. Yes, we are still here. Yes, we were supposed to move today, but late last night I made the decision that I needed a catch up day and so decided to stay put, which is perfectly fine because I'm on no set schedule. Um, I have the, the one thing I love about being in the RV is I have the freedom to move on if I need to or just stay put an extra day if I need to. And in this case, we need the rest. We had two nights, um, the last night that we had in Topeka, the first night here in Hayes, both virtually no sleep. Um, last night I mostly slept. We didn't have any thunderstorms come through, but I think I was with that expectation of thunderstorms coming through. So I didn't sleep as well as I would like. Woke up this morning very tired, exhausted, and looking at um, stuff I was supposed to get done during the week because I um, am on a media mastery course which I have homework to do for which I haven't done yet so I'm behind on that and then I've got my daily challenges that I have to do for the 90 day accountability group that I belong to so I decided that I was just going to take a day breathe um, not worry about where I was going till later this afternoon <laughs> I also have a couple of meetings today um, and so it would have been a time crunch to get wherever I had to go to be there and get set up in time for the meetings and hope like heck I had internet connection. So while I have internet connection, I am taking advantage of it to play catch up today, which brings me to today's challenges. Yes. Um, so your mindset is um, to let go of the what ifs. I was, um, I know I talked about this book the other day, Think Positive, Live Happy. Um, it's a chicken soup for the soul book and I was reading it um, reading one of the things in here this morning and I love how they always put quotes at the beginning of each one it says while we try to teach our children all about life our children teach us what life is all about and that was by Angela Schwind, Schwind? Schwind. Um, and basically it was a story about a woman who was working and she was a social worker Oh, case, she was a case manager um, for medically frail and low-income adults and she was going through and then she said it and she was talking about how she would help people fill out the forms that would help them get um, welfare and all of that sort of things and thinking about you know for she was a single parent if it wasn't for the child support I was getting plus my income um, then I would be in the same situation as them. And then it was sort of like, well, what if this happened? What if that happened? And then she started going through the what ifs. What if the, if the roof got damaged and developed a leak? What if the car broke down? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And so she suddenly found herself full of stress and anxiety. And it was, um, you know, what if the air condition doesn't stop working? And she lives in Oklahoma. So that'll give you some idea. And, um, and so she was going through all these what if situations and she got herself in such an anxiety and stressful situation that when she got home her her daughter felt it and turned around to her and and said mum please don't worry we may not have everything we want but we have everything we need so let go of the what ifs what if you know my what ifs what if the rv breaks down what if um i run out of money for gas what if i can't find a place to stay for the night i'm not going to worry about the what ifs the what ifs have already been taken care of. I just have to worry about what's in the now. Um, yes, I do have to plan for the future, but I'm not gonna let it stress me out. Um, you know, that's where budgeting and all that sort of stuff comes in and working and knowing your, knowing your numbers, there goes that business thingy again. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's watching your numbers, watching it. You know, it's, it's just being aware of where you are now and being grateful for what you have in the now. Um, if you keep worrying about the what ifs, you're going to put yourself into a stressful and a, and a stressful situation, which is going to be have the reverse effect on your health. Because stress is not good for health. So take time out today to let go of the what ifs. What if I fall down and break my and break my ankle? Who's going to come and help me? And I can't reach my phone. Um, who's going to take care of Zephy if I end up in hospital? You know, what if? What if? What if? What if? There are a lot of what ifs what ifs out there <laughs> so just stop pause take a deep breath and just think about be grateful for what you do have and don't worry about the what ifs um, you know if you're taking if you're taking care of things um, planning for future events and that sort of stuff stuff the what ifs are taken care of you know it's all taken care of um, 
So just release that extra stress and that anxiety and stop asking yourself, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if, what if, what if? You're already planning for the what ifs. You just don't realize it. So release them. They're taken care of already. Just enjoy the moment. Enjoy what you have. Enjoy the people that are around you because life is short. Life is short. Just remember that. And it, you could be 92. It's still a short life. We are, we are a tiny, tiny, tiny dot in the whole huge scheme of things. And that is something that is really, really hard to comprehend for people. And I know that because um, I have difficulty comprehending it as well. So like we are, we are a speck on a speck in the, in the grand scheme of life. So whatever life we live, we have to fulfill it, fill it fulfill our purpose, um, make it a life full of non-regrets. So live a, a life without regrets. So, you know, if you have your dream list and you have your bucket list, put dates on them, go for them. Don't worry about the what ifs. The what ifs will take care of themselves because half the time the what ifs don't even happen. Well, no, no, more than half the time because, well, here's the other thing too. When I was, the, the secret, the power, law of attraction, all of that, whatever you put out, you attract back. So if you're sitting there and you're worrying about the what ifs, yeah, they're gonna happen. Don't worry about the what ifs. Start putting out there what you want to see. You know, I wanna be able to go and meet my friends in Colorado Springs. I want to be able to have safe travel along the road. I am, ha you know, and I start every day I get on the road, I set the intention for the day. For the day. I said, today is going to be an awesome day of travel. The road conditions are going to be great. The weather is going to be fantastic. The traffic is going to be awesome. And I just put it out there that that's what's going to happen. Those are my intentions for the day. And I get on the road. Does it always go to plan? Not quite. Pretty much, yes. Some days um, we get a little more traffic than I anticipated. That's okay. The road conditions are good. The weather's good. Traffic's a little heavier. That's okay. Some day the weather was, um, there was one day where it was raining most of the day when we were driving. Road conditions were good. Traffic was good. Weather wasn't. Two out of three, that ain't bad. Um, you know, there's times when we're caught in traffic jams. Again, road conditions were good. Weather was good. Traffic not so good. Two out of three were good. Other days, traffic was very light. The fantastic day traveling weather wise, the road conditions were crap. Not too bad. We just slowed down, took our time. We didn't have to. We didn't have a deadline to be where we needed to be, except for dark, and it was daylight and you know, we're in daylight saving, so we've got extra time. It's okay. Two out of three. That's not bad. You know, you set the you set the intentions, you put it out there, and you just go for it. Um, but if you if you're always worrying about the what ifs, the what ifs are going to happen more frequently than you than you anticipate. So, don't worry about the what ifs. Um, on your business side, it's catch up day. Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah, yeah. try, excuse me. Suddenly my tongue was sticking to the top of my mouth. Um, I'm still recovering from all the talking I was doing yesterday. Um, today is catch up day, so it's getting in there, getting those those projects done. Like I said, I'm in a an accountability group where I've got a daily task that I have to do, which I've been keeping up with. Last night I suddenly realized that I hadn't done my daily task, so I got on, so I sat down it was like 10 30 at night and i got it done because i have committed to doing the every um committed to doing um my connections every single day along with whatever the task of the day is for the accountability group and i'm and i'm committed to this for 90 days so i am on it and if i have to stay up 10 30 11 12 o'clock at night to get it done as long as it's done before midnight we're okay we've we've, we've fulfilled our commitment so um, I got that done last night. I'm about to go into a meeting now, and um, then after that, I'll be getting more of my, being caught up, getting my daily activities done. But then I also have a media mastery workshop that I am part of for the 12 weeks, um, which I started beforehand. And I've got some homework that I need to do for that that I haven't touched yet. So, I, so today's gonna be catching up on that stuff as well. Um, and getting back on track with that because I've got some videos I need to go watch for part of the courses um, and then do the activities associated with each video um, and today will be a good day to do that so that's another reason I decided not to travel today because I've got really good internet connection here so it's going to be get buckled down get it done and that way tomorrow when I'm traveling I don't have to worry about the fact that oh I'm behind on this oh I can't do the da 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> 
oh, the sound effects I'm coming up with today. Um, so today is very much catch up day while I've got the internet connection. Just buckle down, get it done, and tomorrow and get an early night tonight, and then tomorrow will be a nice relaxing drive west to where yet we don't know. That's on my tasks for today. So today is um, doing my daily my daily method of operations for the challenge that I'm on. Um, whatever the daily task. Actually, I've already done the daily task for that one. Um, <laughs> just suddenly thought I've done that task. Check that one off. Um, catching up on my media mastery classes and figuring out where I'm going tomorrow. So those, that's what I've got. And then I've got a couple of meetings tied. Um, um, one that's about to start um, or just started and one that's um, later this afternoon. So it's going to be a nice day and it's not going to be crammed. And then for your fun activity, it's get out, you know, go and enjoy the outdoors. Even if it's, even if you can't leave your building for whatever reason, go sit on a balcony. Um, go up on the roof if you're allowed. Um, <laughs> but go out and enjoy. Pack a picnic and go for a drive and find a rest area and have a picnic in a rest area if, if it's something like that. Or go to a local park. I mean, as far as I am aware, most of the states now have their state parks and the national parks open again, as far as I'm aware. Um, but always check to see if they are open, what their conditions are and that sort of stuff. But you can go find a, an open space in a park somewhere and sit there and have a picnic and still maintain social distancing and things. But get outside, excuse me, enjoy the great outdoors, go walk some trails today. Um, we've already been out for a great walk this morning. It's, it was starting to get hot. The humidity wasn't up yet, so it was actually pleasant. There was a nice breeze blowing. Um, and Zephy was busy walking along and should suddenly start diving and snapping. I was like, what the heck is she doing? And there's these little insects. They were like crickets. They would jump and like fly, like jump and fly, or maybe they were just jumping. And she was trying to snap them. And they were going all over the place. And so she's like darting backwards and forwards with her mouth snapping, trying to catch these things, <laughs> which was hilarious to watch. If you didn't know what she was doing, it would look like she was having some sort of crazy, I don't know what. <laughs> but anyway, that's it from me for today, for now. Um, so remember, let go of the what ifs. For business, get caught up on anything that needs to get caught up on, any training you need to catch up on, any assignments you need to catch up on, get them done. And for fun, go and enjoy the outdoors. Go have a picnic outside. Um, I might at some point go pull out one of our outdoor chairs and go sit outside for a bit if it doesn't get too hot. But it's supposed to be 93 today, so I don't think that will be happening. But we'll figure it out because we do have to go down the dog park later on and they've got a picnic table there by the dog, next to the dog park. So. Um, maybe we'll go do something with that today. I don't know. Maybe I'll go and explore the outdoor venue area because apparently I was oh, I was talking with the woman who manages the park here, and their the year anniversary would be the end of July, end of this month. Um, but they already have one of their outdoor venues open, and she told me where it was. So we may go for a walk when I take Zephy out for a walk this evening when it's cooler. Um, we'll go and scope out the outdoor venue, but she said they've already had a couple of weddings back there. So um, I'm gonna go check it out and have a look and maybe I'll do a Facebook Live from there as well. But anyway, that's it from me for now. Have a super fantastic sparkling day. Heck on era.